Hi, Steve here once again to give an update on my Hackintosh by upgrading the OS to Apple's OS X Yosemite. If you don't know about the Hackintosh I built, I made a couple videos on it and I'll link them to this video. But basically, I'll be upgrading my Gigabyte HA7N Wi Fi system to the latest edition of Apple's operating system, which at the time of recording is 10.10.1. Before upgrading anything, I had to grab a few things, like downloading the OS itself off of the App Store, the latest versions of Unibeast and Multibeast off of the Tony Mac X86 website, and a spare USB drive with at least 8GB of space. I also made a backup image of the drive I'm currently running Mavericks on with a free software called SuperDuper. There are plenty of other imaging softwares out there, but I prefer this one for its simplicity. After backing up, I started off by running Unibeast, followed the prompts, and created a bootable USB drive. I also moved a copy of Multibeast to a flash drive for later. After obtaining the USB, I was almost ready for starting the installation process, but before turning off the PC, I had to edit a KEX file in the system. I went to a specific plist file under the extras folder and removed two lines of code. After saving and exiting, I could then reboot. I started the PC with the USB plugged in and booted off in the BIOS. From the Chimera boot screen, I selected my Yosemite USB and proceeded with the installation. I should mention that I had an issue booting off the USB, but after a couple reboots, I eventually got it working. After getting past the Apple logo, I followed the prompts on the screen until the hard drive selection page. Unlike my past video where I had to format the hard drive, all I had to do this time was select my main partition and continue. After about 10 minutes give or take, the installation is completed and I had to restart. Booting off the USB again, I selected my main partition this time with the new Yosemite logo and continued forward. I was eventually greeted by my login and continued with any other prompts that were given. Again, like my last video, I needed to install the appropriate drivers in order for the system to work. This is where Multibeast comes in. After copying Multibeast onto my PC, I ran it and began selecting drivers. Luckily, the drivers that I used in Mavericks also work in Yosemite. The only items that I chose differently from my last video were personal preferences, like switching the system to a Mac Mini version 5.1 and giving a white scheme to the Chimera bootloader. After confirming my drivers, I installed them and had to wait a few minutes. After installation, all I had to do was restart my hard drive with Chimera, and I would have a working Yosemite PC. After checking the About section, I can tell that the system is working normally and it's up to date. After spending some time with the new OS, I know some issues, but they're bearable and somewhat fixable. One issue that I might have seen during the installation process was the pixelated Apple boot-up logo. It appears when I boot up the system, but it doesn't affect the system's functionality, so it doesn't really bother me. The second issue is with the audio. After installing the correct audio driver, I initially wasn't able to get sound from my monitor, but I could get audio from the front head jack. To remedy this, I went to the sound options in the settings app and toggled through my IO defaults 
and that appeared to make the speaker work. I should also mention that I experienced some system lockups when new hardware is added through a USB hub, but this can be avoided if I attach the device initially using the onboard USBs, then attach it to one of the hubs. Besides those issues, I find that Yosemite is a more stable OS than Mavericks and glad that I made the upgrade. Hopefully for anyone that's watching this and considering to make a Hackintosh with somewhat identical specs or looking to upgrade it themselves will be relieved that it's a simple and worthwhile process. So that'll do it for me, this is Steve signing off, and thanks for watching. Want to learn how to recover deleted files? Check out Andy Richter's channel to find out how.